President Akufuado, during the State of the Nation address, assured of stable power supply, revealing government had secured an agreement with the power producers. Under this deal, ECG pays the producers $43 million monthly. Evaluation reports issued by the Public Utilities Regulatory Commission shows ECG has not allocated this amount regularly. The power distributor in January reported a total revenue of 820 million cities. Payments made to Level A beneficiaries including Sand Power, Amandi and Asogli totaled 120 million cities instead of 514 million cities. Level B beneficiaries include Gridco and VRE. They were to receive a total amount of 300 million cities, but ECG paid 162 million cities. No payments were made to Gridco and VRE. Energy policy analyst Nana Amuisi the seventh believes this could be accounting for the outages. He says a load shedding timetable is long overdue. So you will find that uh, the ECG is keeping a chunk of the money in this case instead of paying uh, what is due the other players. And so the PRC must be tough on the ECG. The second leg, you are asking whether we must have a timetable. I also can give you my own experience this month in Cape Coast. There is no single day in Cape Coast that you won't find an outage. And you can't tell uh, which um, you know, part of Cape Coast will have it, whether the UCC area, whether Ola, whether Abra, and, or uh, Kotokraba. There must be a timetable right. to the consumers so that they can plan their life. This is a common sense approach. A statement issued by ECG blames the situation on its transformers. More than 630 transformers are said to be operating at full capacity due to increased demand. This is said to be causing fuses to blow up, resulting in outages between 7 and 11 p.m. The power distributor says it is upgrading its equipment to ensure a more stable and reliable power supply.